All right, good afternoon. This is Varsity TV, Unearthing News Talent. As you know, a big, a big part of what we do is try to promote and cultivate a spirit of entrepreneurship amongst the youth and specifically the students. So today we've got the ultimate, the ultimate entrepreneur with us, the owner, and has been the driving force of Pick and Pay for a very long time, Mr. Raymond Ackerman. Well, thank you very much. Good, good afternoon. I'm very pleased to be with you. <laughs> thank you. Thanks for your time. So okay. without wasting any time, so what, what motivated you or influenced you to actually choose a career in entrepreneurship? Well, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and um, I decided to go. I was lucky enough to go to university in Cape Town, and the, the first day I was there, the, the professor said, why are you all here? I think it's to make money quickly. And everyone put their hand up. He said, if you have that view of business, I'm going to fail you all. Because you've got to have a mission. If you're a doctor, your mission should be your patient and go out in the middle of the night to help your patient. And the more you look after your patient, the more successful you'll be. And if you're a retailer like me, the more you have the right range for the consumer, the right prices for the consumer, that you're fighting battles with government and suppliers to keep prices down, the more you care for your society, the more you care for unemployment or AIDS or um, housing, that doing good is good business. And I learned this from an American guy and from this professor, and I've tried to run pick and pay that way, and it works. Yes. In other words, don't just chase maximizing your money. Say, what is my role? How can I really help my consumers more? And the more you help your consumer, the more successful you'll be. That, that's how this, this works. Yes. So basically that it can't just be about profit. Sure. Profit's important, because yeah. without profit you can't grow, and yes. you can't build a business. But that's the, the one leg, admin leg. Can you picture a table with four legs? Sitting on top is the consumer. That must be your mission. And then you have a strong first leg with admin and cash flow and everything. Second leg is your, what you're doing, is interviewing people. Third leg is getting people to know who you are and also being involved with social activity. In other words, giving, not just taking, and then looking after people, yourselves and the people who work in your business. It's a very simple philosophy. If you maximize profit, you won't really care about society. You'll just be there to make as much money as possible. But if you care about your country and society, you put your consumer first, and then you have four legs of a table, and it's amazing how it works. Okay. It's not, it's not theoretical. It's very mm. practical stuff. Okay. All right. Okay. Good stuff. So you've, you've built a, a successful company, a successful group. What would you say has been your biggest obstacle or your biggest challenge mm -hmm. in getting with getting people to get to where it is now? Well, when I first started, I didn't have any money. And an American guy that I knew well said to me, if you've got the right idea, right, there's always someone who put up the money. And, and I nearly joined another company when I lost my first job, which was with Checkers. And I was running Checkers with 80 stores, and I lost my job. I have four children, no capital. And this guy said, 90% guts, 10% capital. You can always get someone to back you. And today there are companies that, that back people. But you've got to have the guts and you've got to have the right mission. Who sits on top of your table? Have that right and work like hell to achieve it. And I had to borrow money, I had to get shareholders in to help me. I ended up with 50% of the business. I got shareholders in who backed me, but they wanted 50% of the business. And that's how we got started. Okay, no, fantastic. So for, for an individual who wants to pursue a career in entrepreneurship, or maybe somebody who's just started, but a bit despondent and uh, maybe on the verge of quitting, what, what advice would you give to that individual? <coughs> Firstly, I went on to you just quickly. If I'm talking to a group of young people, I'd say, try and work for businesses. 
for three or four or five years before starting your own business. That's the first bit of advice. The second bit of advice for entrepreneurs who are actually running, right? Don't give up. It's tough as anything. Draw four legs of a table. The first leg is admin. Second leg is what you're doing, your merchandise or your service. Third leg is social responsibility and advertising. Fourth leg is people. Concentrate on those four legs and your mission. What is your mission? What's the mission of the two of you? What is your mission that you have for your communication? You want to communicate to, with young people? Yes, and inspire and cultivate the spirit of intuition. You put that in writing. Put down what your real mission is and draw four legs of a table and be energetic, which I know you are, and enthusiastic and don't allow people to, to make you negative. Because in every day one could get negative about 50 things. Is to remain positive and hopeful as well as caring. Right? I've seen too many people. They get all negative and then their business goes down. But it's not the business that's wrong, it's themselves that's wrong in their head. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so thanks for your time. Thanks for availing yourself to us and uh, you're really a role model to all of us. Good, thank, yeah, you. thank you. Thank you. And you and you meet